yeah very good evening to all of you i hope you all are doing well and i hope you are all are working and studying well at home so just a minute we'll wait for some of our students so that they can also join i hope you are able to hear me and if you are able to see me just send a big thumbs up so that you so that i understand that you are able to hear me yeah so if you are able to hear me just give a thumbs up yeah just for your comments just a minute yeah a bit late i had a session uh with the students of MIT Pune so very long session started at 5:30 and ended at 8:45 so i'm just rushing back yeah so the today's topic is very important uh today we'll discuss about the great lockdown from the economic perspective and whatever the doubts you are having you can ask later when i will finish i'll just take 5 10 minutes in order to explain how the economy is working and what should government do after the corona virus pandemic and what i have to understand here uh, that the economy is going in which direction world economy is affected supply chain is affected so you can understand the chaos is everywhere and i'll tell you uh, why uh, there is a conflict Uh, to become a superpower, so we'll see the reasons. We'll see how Indian economy is performing, how Indian economy should do well, well to uh, recover the economy in the in the coming months. Although you know, start with the basic history, and if you understand, if you correlate the events, so here in this lecture, the major focus on towards the RBI reforms. But before understanding RBI reforms, we need to understand one thing. what is that one thing that what history says what how we can connect the present with the history and later on we'll draw a conclusion i was attending a session at mit pune through a webinar only uh, so i said to those student that you should develop an ability to see three sides of the coin i know you must be thinking that there are only two sides of the coin but you must be thinking about in this direction that you should see the positive aspect you should see the negative aspect as well as you should see the neutral view and this third view is very very vital in order to understand the true nature of the crisis true picture of the economy or the truth about anything in the economy so the important thing here in this lecture we will discuss about the rbi reforms what rbi says what government of india says but before starting on or coming on to that topic we will go towards some history by starting from the history you can understand in the historical perspective you must be aware about that there was a crisis called the great depression it started in the year 1929 and lasted till the year 1933 it means 4 years at that particular time us economy experienced 25% of unemployment and lot of cut in the production because of low level of demand so the major thing at that particular point is or at that particular point was to understand the amount of supply and the demand the basic consumption if you remember last last sunday uh, we met and we met for the discussion of the corona virus crisis the main thing that i said that in that particular lecture is the consumption is the important thing if i am not consuming it means other people are not getting their income if they are not getting their income it means they are not able to spend further and the economy stops what jbc said that supply creates its own demand but in 1929 it proved wrong what happened supply creates lot of thing like 
how much supply that us created but demand was low why due to high amount of unemployment or we can say in total less demand so in 20, 1929 what happened the great depression occurred and after that great depression what happened four years it took four years for the economist authorities to understand the main reason of the crisis so by the year 1933 the economy started recovering and it took 10 years 10 years till 1939 when second world war broke so you can understand that 10 years that took great depression to understand i know in 2020 we have better technology we have better understanding of the economy and we have better experiences about the uh, globalization as well but the condition is this is a large scale devastation that is created by the virus so what we can do now this is the step because economics is all about thinking about a future economics is predicting about the future and if your prediction goes right you are a true economist that's the simple thing so it's a simple simple phenomena just you have to analyze two aspects and you have to predict something so today i'll tell you the important thing important to understand the economy listen very very carefully what happened in uh, 1939 second world war broke 1945 second world war ended what happened second world war you know us involved in the war but later came into the picture after the pearl harbor attack so what us did from 1941 to 1945 although the battlefield was europe not the united states of america so us industries were thriving were flourishing and us was developing their nuclear weapon but what happened after that 1945 us blasted that nuclear bomb on japan two successive nuclear uh, a bomb what happened after that in 1945 the battlefield which is europe which was europe and europe devastated now for whom america will produce there is no market so what america did america announced marshall plan and they gave 13 billion dollar to europe for free now they gave 13 billion dollar for free why because if they will get income they will purchase american goods american economy will go up again the word consumption so consumption plays an important role again i'm saying why because european countries started consuming more and more so america gave 13 billion but in turn america got lot of money in return now the same scenario you can understand there is low demand what we can do we can increase the consumption how we can increase the consumption we can increase the disposable income in the hands of the people and whenever we have disposable income in the hands of the people people will demand more amount of consumption if they have extra amount obviously the economy will flourish so the point that there must be tax raises to government uh, from the government side to raise the funds there must be salary cuts that should not be happen no salary cut will be there the government should run deficit budget and that is the need of the hour being a developing country it is important to have deficit budget so try to think in this direction if you have less tax revenue from the government perspective and high amount of expenditure so obviously the gap will expand and this gap will widen further in the months to come but government is having power and authority as well as the trust that economic survey chapter said first chapter about wealth creation the trust is the most important thing so government bonds will be sold in the market and people will purchase the government bond that is the immediate solution that we have apart from this if you see the indian economic condition if you decrease the tax rate it will give extra money in the hands of the companies the smes micro small and medium enterprise it will give extra boost from the consumption side to the economy so they will not cut the salary of their employees what will happen after that the expenditure goes up if the expenditure goes up what will happen obviously government will run deficit budget expenditure goes up means government should not cut the salary of the government employees why because the consumption goes down if they will cut the salary because people are saving money and too much saving is obviously a crisis in a macroeconomics we have simple thing in, in macroeconomics we have simple thing like for example if you save more like marginal propensity to consume if your mpc is higher obviously the multiplier value is also higher but if suppose you're saving all of your income no consumption no multiplier effect so it's a simple basic economics that you can correlate now understand another thing in 1945 what happened antibiotics actually were discovered or invented 
Now, antibiotics played an important role post-war world. Now, what happened in 2020? These countries are not sharing their research. It means there's a competition. There's a competition among nations to make medicine. Who will make first will make more amount of money. And that is pretty bad for the humanity because they are competing at the time at the cost of human beings. Per day, we are losing lives. If we share a research that I also mailed to, uh, I sent a mail to Prime Minister office uh, and I've also tweeted by tagging the Prime Minister of India that he should encourage countries to share their research in making the medicines. The important thing is about the, the uh, hegemony of the dollar. Now understand, after 1945, what happened? Britain was no longer the world power. What happened? America took over. Why? Because American economy was on top at that particular time. So superpower belongs to militarily as well as economy. So that is the two important thing. It is having the power of military and the second thing is about the money, treasury. Then again, 1945, Bretton Woods Conference. You must have heard about this conference. They have made dollar as a supreme currency. Why only dollar? Because the American economy was the strongest economy and people trust on dollar. People have trust on dollar. After that, what will happen? In 1971, there's a crisis. After the Vietnam War, America was actually incurring a lot of expenditure in Vietnam War. So they had to get off, got off from the dollar standard. What happened in 1973? President Nixon came in the media and said that now Bretton Woods system is finished and dollar is no longer linked with gold. Now dollar was linked with gold and all other currencies were linked with dollar. It means there must be some linkages with the gold. But what happened when American dollar delinked with the gold, American economy, the Federal Reserve got the power to print currency. Because American government got the power to print currency in order to in order to uh, bear the expenses of the Vietnam War. Because at that particular time, at the time of war, you cannot raise tax because people were, uh, were already against that particular war. People were thinking about withdrawing the forces. So you cannot impose higher amount of taxes. People will criticize, government will be in trouble. So what happened? Dealing with the gold and again started printing of money. So dollar experienced inflation. This is not I am saying, this is my analysis. You can go to any website, anything. You can see the money supply in the dollar. And you will find after the Bretton Woods, they have ended the Bretton Woods. You can see the dollar, the amount of supply they were creating. So it means the extra money supply, losing purchasing power. So extra money supply goes up, purchasing power goes down. This is an inverse relation. So I hope you understand the connection. But what happened in 1999? In 1999, from 1971 to 1999, United States of America uh, linked dollar with the petroleum. So they have signed a deal with Saudi Arabia and they said that the everything, every trade in dollar all over the world, uh, every trade in oil all over the world must be linked with dollar. So it means if you will purchase oil or I will sell oil, it should be in dollar. What happened in 1999? The euro came into the picture. Euro came into the picture and the Middle Eastern countries were saying that now we will trade in Euro with the European countries. Again, dollar was in threat. So dollar was under threat. Again, there's a question that what happened? So the again, you can understand the attack on Iraq. So you can understand it was not just to control or to maintain the American hegemony. It was just to control the dollar or to make dollar as a supreme. Because if dollar will replace, American economy will be replaced from the superpower tag. Now what happened till 2015? In 2015, tussle started between United States and the China. What happened on the basis of the trade? So the amount of trade that China was getting, the share in the world trade, around 12% share in the world trade China was getting, America was not comfortable with that. Because China's two major projects like One Belt, One Road, Another major product project was of the South China Sea. They were building so artificial islands and etc. So that was not acceptable for the United States of America. They have imposed a lot of tariff and the tariff hurt the Chinese economy. In 2015, China, is having the China was having the advantage of low labor cost. 
But in 2015, China's labor cost started rising. So China, China's labor cost was started rising in 2015. Again, the competitiveness of competing Chinese product with other products, China was thinking that it will erode in near future. Now what happened again, when there's a hegemony of dollar still persist, there's no threat for the US to be to like dethrone from the superpower. But what happened right now, China is purchasing shares, China is involving in other activities, China is supplying ventilators, China is supplying masks, China is supplying a lot of equipments to Iran. Obviously, Iran will not be able to pay. What they will do? They will exchange this mask with oil. So you can understand the value of mask and value of oil. You can understand. But here, right now, this is the need of the R. So you can understand that how this particular scenario is right now folding. And if you're not pay, not payable in debt, if you're not able to pay in uh, your debt in yuan, then you have no other option. You just have to give the stake to China. So only option is either to pay debt in yuan or either to give the stake to China. Now China is having more or less the public sector driven economy. So all the companies are having government stakes. So you can understand this is how the yuan is thinking about to replace dollar. And in the near future, this is a tussle not between China and the America. It is between their currencies. So the hegemony is all about currency. That is why they are giving donations. Why? To remain dollar as top. That is why they are giving donations. Although their internal matter is also not uh, very good. But what happened? The important thing about the US dollar is they are maintaining their hegemony, the supreme power. So I hope you understand this particular one. And this is the current scenario that we have till this particular point. Now coming on to the RBI reforms. What RBI did, RBI did a uh, phenomenal job. Now, according to the World Growth IMF, said that India will grow, uh, India will grow in this financial year at 1.9 percent, and that is the highest among G20 countries. Although they haven't said that this is greater than the this is crisis greater than the Great Depression, but they've given the name the Great Lockdown. So the Great Lockdown is obviously a crisis where 207 countries are affected, and this is a very serious problem for the economies. Now the question again comes do not let the consumption go down because if the consumption goes down indian economy base of indian economy is consumption driven economy you can see since 2012 indian economy not based on investment driven activities it was only or it has been since 2012 only dependent on the consumption i've been teaching a lot of classes in upsc classes in delhi and i was saying same thing that indian economy is a consumption driven economy. If Indian economy is to save in the next two, three months, consumption should remain there. Thinking about the industries and the agriculture part, you can understand service sector right now is not fully shut down. Like for example, we are interacting and I am also teaching on my app various courses related to economics. So service sector is not totally shut down. But what happened to manufacturing, the car sales, the other sectors like agriculture sector is also struggling because of less labor so their cost will rise according to Ram Vilas Paswan our union minister said that India is having nine months of food grain it means it will last till 2020 December so we have to think about it and we have to follow the lockdown so that government can increase their rapid testing now it depends on the rapid testing only if we are able to so, uh, test all the people in the country it would cost around 70 billion US dollar but if we will not do the economy will bear the cost way too high in comparison to the rapid testing so these rapid testing kits are working well and I hope the economy will recover and now most welcome with your doubts you can ask your doubts and if you have any other uh, query regarding my opinion because this is my opinion this is my analysis your opinion can uh, may be different so I always appreciate your opinion and as a matter of fact if you have other type other kind of opinion you can always mention in the comment section so like over to you you can ask a lot of questions whatever you want
Yeah, Ankit is asking, Hello sir, is there any separate paper-wise course package for Indian Economic Service? I am asking for General Economics 1. No dear, we provide full course and that is for General Economics 1, 2, 3 with the weekly test, study material at your home, uh, obviously after the crisis right now and you will get the current affairs, writing practice, live sessions etc. So we do not have a module based uh, this policy. Yeah, so there are a lot of comments. So hello to everyone once again. And if you have question, you can ask. Yeah, so next is Ashok is asking, what are the challenges for Indian economy in the present situation? Challenges are many. I think uh, the imposing lockdown and enforcement of lockdown is the two different things. So we should think about that imposition of lockdown is there. But what about the enforcement? I see people are not following lockdown because they are not aware. They do not understand the gravity of this disease, this pandemic. That is why they are not following because they had never seen the patient of the coronavirus. So if they will understand, so government should do certain things like in the tobacco ad they were showing in the theatres that if you eat, if you consume tobacco, this would be the result. So on the same lines, they should uh, show these kind of pictures of the coronavirus patients, how they are treated and what will be the like uh, the post, uh, post disease, what will happen. So these kind of pictures are very, very important for and to show on the TV so that people will understand the gravity of the uh, present situation yeah so next is uh, the uh, Ankit Kumar is asking at present stage inflation is good for booster uh, obviously we need inflation and this time so inflation don't worry about inflation we can control anytime we have a lot of supplies and we have a lot of supply we have in fact excess supply so we can anytime control the inflation don't worry about inflation uh, what can be the possible measure that could be adopted in order to boost the MSMEs? MSMEs obviously they work on the credit cycle as well. So to boost the MSMEs, government should provide first thing that you should note this. They should provide the working capital at a low interest rate. I'm not so, and I'm not saying that you should provide on zero interest rate, but they should provide at low interest rate working capital. The second thing that they the government can do is to provide GST refunds in advance or as soon as possible all the tax refunds so that they will have some liquidity in the hands so these are the two things that MSME can avail yeah the next thing uh, next thing is uh, I think Nirbha is asking why American economy did not lock down in the early stages of coronavirus I don't know this a failed leadership of president of United States of America so the lockdown was not imposed they were requesting I have a lot of friends in USA they were saying that supermarkets were open so you can understand that's why supermarket nowadays are the biggest threat they are the home of coronavirus in USA so why American economy did not lock down this is a question to the Mr. Trump only and I think this is a failed leadership and being uh, having a superpower tag you should take the responsibility and you should take you should come forward like after 2015, America actually withdrew from the world politics. They were not involving. They started withdrawing with the Paris Agreement. If you remember, they withdrew from Paris Agreement. That was the first step that America was withdrawing. That was the first signal as well. Yeah, Dimple Tiwari is asking. Uh, so China is spelling, but uh, when we get rid of this problem, then China will be affected or not? China would not be affected those people are saying that China economy will be like crashed China will be finished all foolish thoughts China will flourish China started flourishing China started their industry if you know the e-commerce company named as the Alibaba that was flourishing they are actually sending millions order per month they're not sending by the delivery boys 
they are sending via drones they are delivering medicines they are uh, delivering essential supplies and that too with the help of the drones only so jd.com the alibaba the company benefited a lot a lot like mask if you think i have one of my friend who is in pharmacy sector he said that alibaba is selling n95 mask at 2 rupees per mask you can understand the amount of scale of operation that they are having that they are selling n95 marks mask at 2 rupees per mask yeah arjun is asking rb governor announced gdp is likely to rise by 7% in 2021 2022 although arjun do not think about these estimation this is way beyond the current crisis is about the thinking about the short term if you remember the john minard keynes thought in the long run we are all dead so this is a situation we cannot think about the long run we have to think about tomorrow we have to think about tomorrow's breakfast lunch dinner these are the things that is important so you can understand the economy not from the estimation perspective don't don't think about 2021 2022 rbi will revise the estimate what would happen those people were saying in 2019 that indian economy will recover and will grow at 7% 2020 2021 what would happen unforeseen circumstances they can revise the growth vidya is asking why is helicopter what is helicopter money why this term is in use helicopter money actually is a fake news where in karnataka there was a news channel was saying that peop, uh, the government will drop money distribute money via helicopter yeah so some officials yaha is asking some officials saying that there is no adverse effect of corona virus in the economy is it correct right now we do not have like for example after demonetization the effect didn't experience by the indian economy just after demonetization this is a long term effect so do not think do not make any conclusion right now any economist cannot make conclusion have you seen any economist giving the opinion that this is at no numbers are rising cases are rising deaths are rising new cases are coming so you can you cannot make conclusion obviously it will make adverse effect on the economy that's for sure because we are in the total lockdown but after the lockdown the opportunity will come to each and every business it depends on how they will uh, implement how they will adopt the new technology to the system they will grow so there is an opportunity always there after 2008 there was an opportunity in 1929 there was an opportunity in other crisis also in 1991 there was an opportunity then again in 2020 there is the opportunity but you have to apply this in order to make most of this crisis yeah so vinay is asking indian economy is in good condition as compared to us so does face value of rupee increase uh, it depends on the market value so it depends on the demand and supply we cannot say that economy is in good condition or bad condition it depends on the nominal rate so nominal rate depends on the transaction of dollar and rupee so it will increase with the demand of rupee so if the demand of rupee goes up rupee will appreciate if the demand of dollar goes up the rupee will depreciate uh nisreen is asking sir can a post graduate in financial economics eligible to apply for ies examination financial economics i have to see in the notification because they have written economics econometrics applied economics i uh, don't know about the financial economics you just contact on my whatsapp number and i'll revert it back yeah harshita is asking sir, sir why are some people are saying again and again that india has the opportunity over china i really don't get this point as china has reserves of 3 trillion dollars more than india's gdp itself china is having 3 trillion dollar reserve that is quite <laughs> phenomenal if china will think that we should release these dollars into the market american economy will collapse so you can understand there's an opportunity why because industries are now moving from china to other places and india is having the opportunity why because the similarity between india and china is in two terms that is the labor cost labor cost and labor supply so two things labor cost and labor supply that is why india can substitute a good destination in comparison to china but let me tell you india is losing that opportunity and that is the latest news that india if india will not take any action india will lose this opportunity why because firms are moving to vietnam as well vietnam is also providing tax lower tax rates of corporate on corporates they are also providing uh, the cheap labor 
and the culture of China and Vietnam is more or less same if we compare China and India. So companies are preferring Vietnam as well. So don't consider that India is a good substitute or India is the only substitute. There's other options as well. Yeah, so the next is Ankit is asking, uh, what your view on the topic of the open e-commerce sector? Only not offline sector, because to boost our economy to generate consumption, we have to focus on offline sector also. Yeah, offline sector also, but in 2008, if you understand Warren Buffett, he said that if your business is not online, it means it is not a business. So if your business is not online, it means you are not doing anything. So today the demand is both online and offline. So the important thing is, so we, we have to generate this. E-commerce sector will grow because suppose government will end the lockdown after 3rd May. What will happen? Will you go out? Will you go out for a dinner? Will you eat? Will you spend on the purchasing clothes or any luxurious item? No. You will order at home. So e-commerce will obviously boost in the initial stages. At last tourism industry will gain. Tourism industry is in deep, deep trouble. Yeah, Samriddhi Mahajan is asking, sir, what do you think when will all this end? <laughs> uh, that is a great question and that everyone is having in, in their mind. So if you ask my opinion, I think this in India, we can control this by the end of June. We'll be able to control it. But see, if you need answer to this question, you just see the graph of India's cases. If this graph will increase at an increasing rate, obviously economy or country will not recover. If these cases are increasing at a decreasing rate, then there's a chance. And when it is declining, like for example in Kerala, the cases are declining. Like in Iran also cases are declining. It means it has been seen. Like in the fifth phase, the cases declines. So we have to wait for the fifth phase. So uh, the next question is, how much give the WTO fund to India? How much give WTO fund to, in, to the India fund? Fund can be written in future. I don't understand your question, but why WTO should give fund to India? And during this particular time, there is only grants, gifts, so no return back. How much time it take to make vaccine? It depends on the doctors and the research, the speed of the research. That's why at the beginning of the lecture, I was saying that, that uh, countries should share their research in order to expedite the process. If they will not share the research, there's a competition, competition to capture the market. Here, no one is winner, human on the one side and the virus on the other. But what we are doing, we are fighting among humans. So obviously that is a loss. How much time it will take to vaccine ho gaya? Thank you. And yeah, which opportunity, sir? Opportunity is to grab, like for example, if you see, if you are the part of pharmaceutical industry, that is the biggest time to gain. You make masks, make sanitizers and make a lot of money. That is the opportunity. So you have to understand what is the opportunity. Opportunity for the students, what it is? Full time, full time study you can do. That's the opportunity. But if you are catching or not, it depends on you. Like for example, I've been in lockdown, but I'm feeling my time, which is very, very short. So I always feel that there's a paucity of time. I always feel that there's a shortage of time. So I have a lot of work to do. And in this lockdown, I haven't watched any movie, any entertainment, any Ramayana, Mahabharata, anything. Because I was having always running after the time. So you can understand, make most of it if you get the opportunity. Because at that particular time, there were a lot of lectures all over the country that were piled up. So I was actually traveling there and here and there. Now I have time and I'm teaching on the mobile app. I'm like starting another course of PG entrance for Delhi School of Economics, JNU, just with the request of the students. And now we have also launched eColleagues for international students as well. So we have a lot of students from Nigeria, we have a lot of students from South Asia, Nepal, Pakistan. We have a lot of students from the European countries as well, those who want to learn economics. So we have launched our uh, this initiative on the international level as well. Just because of the lockdown, I was able to do that. Yeah, the next question is, so uh, in this situation, IEX exam will be conducted. Can't say anything because this is a public platform and 
only UPSC say so what the same thing I will suggest that UPSC said in the public notice that on the 3rd of May they will decide about the examination so till this particular time they have said that the examination will happen or uh, will be occurred on the same date as decided yeah so the next is if this lockdown will expand all over the world the income automatically will go down and the history says demand will go down in that case what will china do china is supplying essentials dimple understand china is supplying essentials china will supply wheat china will supply rice china will not supply mobile phones etc what china will do china will supply mask china will supply sanitizer ventilators etc so china is making money china is making most of this opportunity yeah Ankit is saying something. Thank you so much for clearing my doubts. My last question is, sir, I am economic student. I read economy news. So at your point of view, which website newspaper is the best for economics student? Uh, for economics student, I would prefer if you should read the Hindu newspaper and I love this newspaper. And people are asking for substitute of the Hindu. But let me tell you, if you read for one or one and a half month, you will understand the full newspaper. So just bear the pain of reading one one month or 30 45 days of the hindu newspaper you will understand everything so the hindu newspaper is the best newspaper i think it gives you a lot of points a lot of analysis and what i said three sides of the coin that is important so you have to understand the hindu newspaper will give but don't believe whatever you read whenever you read something question yourself try to take another stance as well and try to think in neutral aspect as well any news you will see because media is now polarized so whatever you read is whatever the people or whatever the authorities are uh, actually want to you to read. So do not fall in that trap and understand uh, the psychology, the events you should analyze and follow the authentic sites like major like for example the Hindu is a good and the I prefer uh, the the Hindu as well as the business line, the Mint newspaper is good. So you can follow Mint newspaper if you are from core economics. Yeah. The next question is UGC net June exam affected uh, because of coronavirus. Maybe we can say, we cannot say. So it depends, obviously it depends on the final call of national testing agency. So obviously if trains are not running, people cannot go from here and there. How can the exam will be conducted? How long the lockdown will continue further? Again, the last thing that I would say that lockdown depends on the number of cases. If number of cases increasing at an increasing pace or increasing at a decreasing pace, obviously lockdown is beneficial. Otherwise, jo humne abhi tak lockdown kiya hai, from 21 days to 19 days, that would go in vain. No use. Next question. What is the optimistic career for the actuarial economics and the economics law in master degree of economics? Yeah, there are a lot of career guidance but this is not a career guidance platform so please ask on my whatsapp number i'll tell you and you can call me uh, someday between 5 to 6 pm so i'll tell you the career opportunities in actuarial economics economics law master degree of economics there are a lot of career opportunities i made a video on youtube as well regarding the same yeah the next question is this lockdown continue for years what would be the outcome of the Indian economy, the future aspect? If this continues, will the syllabus changes in IES examination? Some told every year changes. <laughs> I don't think so and I have been teaching for IES examination since uh, past 6-7 uh, years and you can understand that the syllabus remains same. So I don't think so syllabus will change. Because they have still written the 12th Finance Commission. So you can understand how much they read and how much they update. The lockdown is continue for the years. It will not continue for years. It will control and it will release like they are identifying hotspot districts. Other districts they will open. Yeah, Ashwata Singh is asking which book of economy should we read for, for a bigger student. You can take my PDF book as well and uh, you can take me from my whatsapp number or if you download our app that would be given in the description of this uh, video so you can download uh, this book from the app yeah the next question is in your opinion was the economic package by the central government is effective what all measures should be followed by 
Indian economy is doing well, but we need more experts. So try to take help from the major economists like Raghuram Rajan, Arvind Subramaniam, Arvind Panagariya. So you should need experience at the top. So take a lot of help because I was once talking to the advisor of Economic Advisory Council to Prime Minister, Mr. Vivek Debroy. So he was also the opinion that Indian economy, whatever doing, is in the right direction. And I also feel that what government of India is doing is a phenomenal job if we compare with the other countries what they are doing. So India is in a good situation and if we control, if, if we cooperate, all the people will cooperate, the lockdown will soon be revoked. Yeah, the effect of COVID-19 on luxury goods like gold etc. It depends on the demand of those goods. Obviously people will think about the gold is a good option but gold is a dead asset. So you cannot easily like use that money. You have to liquidate. And gold prices obviously I think more or less in this crisis remains stable. Or it may go down because people will prefer food not the gold. Yeah, the last question I'll take. Uh, India is exporting the medicine hydrochloroquine to all over the world. Does it gonna benefit the GDP of India in much amount? What if we produce and export more of its medicine to compensate? Yeah, that's great. And if India is having the opportunity to actually export to the world, and that's the biggest opportunity that India is having. And India can earn more amount of revenue because economy is dependent on three things. First is consumption, the second is export and third is foreign investment. So foreign investment is not right now as possible. The second is export. If consumption is not there, export is there. So and that's why government re, uh, imposed GST on that as well, just to earn more revenue. So that's a good, good uh, sign that India can do. People were saying that uh, American or president is, is like putting pressure on India. There's no such pressure. If a country like America will ask for some medicine, we have to give. Because in 1966, when we were struggling with the food, America gave grant aid under PL 480. So they gave free food, free wheat. Now they're asking for medicine. So we have to reciprocate. The next is Arjun is asking, what's the growth uh, mediated Security and supply led security strategy of poverty alleviation by Amartya Sen. You are going in totally different direction. So, the supply led security is all about the security strategy for poverty, like basic necessity. Because the Amartya Sen said about the consumption, if the consumption is there, poor poverty will increase, uh, decrease. So, the ma major demand here, major concern is about the understanding the power of consumption and try to give the food to needy people and I can say that um, the people, the local authorities are working and we cannot comprehend on the basis of some social media post. The government is doing, Nagar Nikam is distributing free foods that I have seen from my eyes. So people are getting food, don't worry about it. After the pandemic effects after the pandemic affects of the demand side demand side will boost obviously because people will spend money if they have money so that's why i'm saying that do not cut the wages because in 1929 acpgu the neoclassical economist suggested that in the time of crisis government should cut the wages and what keen said do not cut the wages because it will cut the demand as well so the aggregate demand must go up and this is the only thing where demand is rising yeah, Dilip Singh. Hello, sir. Kaise aap? So, what Dilip Singh? So, Dilip sir is saying, yes, certainly it contributes to GDP, but at the same time, we need increased consumption of FMCGs, investment, and the government expansion and the NCOs together to constitute GDP. Yes, very rightly said, because FMCG goods are the lifeline of the goods and so FMCG products, they are working well. If you follow the Ministry of Railways on Twitter, they are continuously tweeting about the supplies. The goods train are running continuously to uh, streamline the supply all over the country. So that's a great thing that government is doing 
to maintain the supply of the FMCG goods that will obviously contribute to GDP as well because domestic consumption also contributes to GDP. Yeah, then recently uh, RBI cut LCR how it act as fiscal stimulation. Now recently what RBI decided to cut the reverse repo rate. Why? Because if suppose I am a bank and I am not able to find any customer, what I will do with that money? I will park in the RBI and earn the interest rate. So what RBI did, RBI reduces the reverse repo rate and the RBI said that you have to give loans. So they have reduced from 4% to 3.75% and that is a very very good step because banks were reluctant and at that particular time where we need more consumption, we need working capital loans that is the important for MSMEs. If we do not provide working capital loans that will create the problem. So it will act as the fiscal stimulation that too indirectly because RBI cannot act directly only government can act directly. So your question is about the RBI if fiscal stimulation, stimulation is just from the government's behalf. So government should decrease the direct taxes that will boost the consumption quite manifold. If they will decrease the tax, if they are not ready to decrease the tax, I would suggest to the government that what they will do, they can expedite the refund process, the TDS refunds etc. So that they will give extra money in the hands of the people. Yeah, the next question is with regard to pandemic crisis at which the uh, which the business cycle of the Indian economy has reached so far. I think uh, we are going towards downward direction, but we are not sure about the curve. It should be like V or it should be like U. So it means the lower rung, how it will like uh, survive in that lower rung of the business cycle. Although it is continuously going down and it depends how steep it is and how that economy can go up. So you can understand it depends on the ability of the economy and it depends on the ability of the government. Two things. So we can say it is almost reaching the lower level to answer your question almost reaching the lower level but still the bottom we haven't touched. How the great lockdown will going to affect the foreign investment policy. Foreign investment policy like recently government announced that Chinese investors cannot invest by using the automatic route because Chinese companies raise their stake raise their stake by 1% in HDFC bank so if they raise their stake by 1% in HDFC bank then government posted a revision in the FDI policy and their automatic route so China cannot invest through automatic route and you know foreign investment FDI in terms of automatic route that comes around 92% of the investment comes from automatic route. So that's a very good step. That is we can say India checkmates China. Yeah, Ankit is asking UGC net economics test series is available on. Yeah, Ankit it is running and I think that today's test was uh, mathematical economics growth and development. So test series is running. You can contact uh, our uh, numbers in the description and you can contact on my number. Test series is running. Yeah. The next is Dilip sir is asking liquidity coverage ratio reduced from 100 to 80 percent. Obviously, this is uh, this is done on the basis of to give extra amount of money in the hands of the bank so that they can give the money to the public. So here the question is all about liquidity. If there's liquidity available in the system, like for example, they've given to NBFC sector as well. If there's a liquidity in the system, the economy will survive. So only depending on the banks, banks can save the economy. And you know, in 2008 crisis and before that crisis, only banks saved on the basis of this liquidity coverage ratio. So liquidity coverage ratio is very, very vital for the banks as well as the Indian economy. So in order to recover just after the crisis, liquidity coverage ratio should be reduced. And that's a very good step from 100% to 80%. So any other further doubt or uh, shall we wind off this session? Yeah, Neeraj, I don't know notification to Gaya Ta Sabke Paas. 
so that's it from my side and thank you so much i'm signing off thank you for your time because i had a long session since 5 30 so i'm signing it off right now and we'll meet next sunday 9 30 pm every sunday we are meeting and I hope you enjoy the session. I also enjoy your questions and it is a good interaction at this particular time. So always remember, read authentic news, read authentic newspapers and see the three sides of the coin. Again, the positive, the negative and the middle one, that is the neutral view. So that's it from my side. And please don't forget to subscribe Ecoholics and we have a lot of courses for you on our mobile app, starting from the Indian Economic Services, the test series are also there, RBA grade B, DEPR, uh, the economics optional, the school level economics we are starting and we have started international venture as well. So if you need any help from this site, we are always there and on my personal mobile number, I'll help all the students irrespective of they are registered or not. You can just send a WhatsApp message to me and reply for sure. Although I receive 1000 plus messages per day and humanly it is impossible to reply, but I'll give you the guarantee of 24 hours reply. So thank you so much and good night.